Golden Freddy, the golden animatronic possessed by one of the childs who got murdered by William Afton, and is the most vengeful spirit, also maybe possessed by the crying child, but anyways, I might as well mention that yes, I already made a Smash move set for Foxy, or really Wither Foxy, but that doesn't really matter, but what does matter is why am I not doing Freddy? Well, for two reasons. One, I already did Freddy. In one of my older videos talking about old fake Smash Bros. set concepts, I, I did Freddy, but it wasn't really that good. Like, I did Mike Toss as a special, but then I also did Pizza Wheel. Okay, and also Brawl Fan 1 and Phantomations made a videos giving Freddy Smash Bros. sets, and they're really good, and I don't think I can make a better one, so I decided to make one for Golden Freddy. Also, I might as well mention two things. One, am I using Golden Freddy's design from FNAF 1 or FNAF 2? Well, I'm doing the one from FNAF 1 because I like it a lot more, even though it's kind of ironic because I did Wither Foxy for regular Foxy when I did Foxy's uh, Smash Move set, but please just let me have this, okay? Anyways, how am I going to make Golden Freddy move? That's a good question. You know how I'll do it? Just simply use Golden Freddy's animations from FNAF AR. So Golden Freddy would look like the FNAF 1 design, but he'll move around like the AR version. However, when he starts running, he'll actually float, like a ghost figure, basically. So, uh, without further ado, Golden Freddy will be an above-average weight character, and will have two jumps and no additional movement options. Golden Freddy's basics were inspired by the fan game Five Fights at Freddy's, with the FNAF 1 gang fighting like a tournament fighter or something, and Golden Freddy attacks look like he's just flailing his arms around because he's in suit mode or something like that. Also, another thing he, as well, he can detach his head like how his wither version can. So getting into things for real, his free hit jab will start with him swinging his right arm, then his left arm, and then swinging his head forward while biting. His side tilt will just be a simple bite forward, nothing else. His up tilt will swing both his arms backwards once, not really referencing anything. Now his down tilt, but first his crouch, it will be in the exact same style of his sitting position from FNAF 1. Now getting into the attack, he'll lunge his head forwards while biting. Now this is obviously exactly identical to Brawl Fan 1's Freddy's down tilt, but uh, there is one key difference, Golden Freddy won't extend his endo neck, cause that would look weird. For his side smash, he'll charge himself up and then spin his upper body all around, which will be a very powerful multi-hitting attack. And now his up smash would be him detaching his head and spinning it around. Next is his down smash, which I couldn't really think of anything. Anything at all, so you know what I just did? He just lays down and spins his entire body around. That's all I could think of, I'm sorry. Okay, his dash attack. It would be very similar to his side smash, where he spins his upper body around. However, it'll end quicker and he'll move slightly. Next is his aerials. His neutral aerial will be the weirdest thing I could think of. All of his almost will detach and spin around his body and retract back into his body. His forward aerial will be the same as Donkey Kong, just a simple overhead punch, or whatever it's called. Then his back aerial, which he'll spin his upper body around once and move backwards a bit. Sort of like Pikachu, not really. Um, next is his up air, where he just bites in an overhead arc. Finally, his down air, which is basically the same thing as Brawl Fans once Freddy's down air, where he'll just deactivate and fall to the ground, which can bury opponents. But also works like Sonic, where if he could, like, like if he falls, if, basically, you don't have any recovery, so if you use the down air, you're just stuck like that until you, you know, land. Anyways, Golden Freddy will grab the opponents with his mouth and bite on their frontal lobe. For his forward throw, he'll scream at the opponents and spew them out. Keep in mind, Golden Freddy's scream here would be the FNAF 6 scream because I like that one. Next is his back throw, which I couldn't think of anything, so it's basically the same thing as Foxy and every other Freddy Smash move set concept I, I saw. So, yeah, he just bites the opponents, uh, spins his body around, and throws them backwards. Okay. Next is his up throw. He'll just grab the opponents and give the opponent a very poor uppercut, which will won't send him that far. Also, uh, FYI, I also wanted to mention that this was actually a remade animation because the old animation looked like actual garbage. His literal hand literally detached from his body. Now, sadly, I don't have the original animation anymore, but my god, it was horrible. Anyways, getting back into things, is his down throw. We're able to just forcefully take the opponents out of his mouth and bury them. Now thinking about it, I don't think it would actually bury them. He just like forcefully just shoves them out of his mouth, probably. That, that's what that's what I'd probably do. 
Now the fun part, the specials. So for his neutral special, it will be a move from FNAF World called Springlock. Okay, and yes, I know Golden Freddy doesn't have the move in the game, but he's a, still a Springlock animatronic technically, so it can count. So Golden Freddy will throw a Spring Bonnie mask, and if the opponent gets caught in the mask, the mask will do numerous small attacks and then one big attack attack at the end. Also, keep in mind that when the mask is doing its smaller attacks, you can move around, and when it does its big attack, you'll, you know, you'll go flung. So, uh, next is his side special called Floating Head, where he would turn into Wither Golden Freddy's Floating Head and fly forward. It works very similarly to Fox's side special, but stronger and slower. His up special... Okay, you'll just teleport. It works like Mewtwo and Palutena's. I don't really want to give him this, but I couldn't think of anything. And, well, at, at least he technically does teleport in the game, so, yeah. Golden Freddy would just fade out and then fade back in, so, yeah. Finally, his down special, which is called Haunting, a move also from FNAF World. Golden Freddy would point forward, and a Ghost Freddy would appear and lock onto a random opponent. Now, you can outrun it, and it will eventually disappear, but if it does get you, you'll turn into a statue for five seconds, and you can't do anything about it. However, you do have super armor on, so you can't just easily get flung off the stage instantly, and also, you can't be grabbed. Also, keep in mind, Golden Freddy can't be turned into a statue if he summons the Freddy Ghost. I just wanted to clarify that. So yeah, be careful. Golden Freddy has a lot of moves that can get you quickly if you're not careful, just like his original mechanic from his games. Not thinking about it, not really, but whatever. Okay, I thought it was cool, alright. Final Smash. Golden Freddy will have two Final Smashes. Kind of similar to Foxy, though these ones, in my opinion, are a bit cooler. Okay, one up close and one far away. For the one far away, it will be called the Bite of 83. It will turn into Nightmare Fredbear and grab anyone with his arm. If anyone gets caught, he'll shove the opponents in his mouth and chomp on them multiple times. And then spit them out and then punch them, sending them back to the stage. Keep in mind, if you're at 180% or above, you will die. And another thing as well with the animation, keep in mind when Nightmare Fredbear is like, you know, doing his munching stuff, I think the camera would actually move around similar to like Bayonetta's Final Smash, but I guess I just didn't feel like animating that for some reason, like the camera moving, so yeah, keep that in mind. Now for the one up close. You'll grab one or two opponents and fly all the way down to the bottom, and a cinematic Final Smash with Star Call you would see in. Gold Freddy would snap his fingers and almost every single FNAF jump scare would play, minus characters with more than one jump scares. So basically Freddy's power out his jump scare would play, but not his normal or UNC and jump scare. Except for Foxy, uh, he will use his UNC and, UNC and jump scare, not his original because his original is literally just leaning in. So um, anyways, <laughs> and also uh, jump scares that won't kill you like phantoms or help uh, would not appear. Anyways, it would finish the shot with Golden Freddy's kill screen and his original scream, and the opponents and Golden Freddy will come back on the stage. And if the opponents are not dead, they'll be stunned like their shield is broken. For Golden Freddy's victories, I think it uh, would either be the FNAF 1 6 a.m. jingle or the sister location victory theme. I really do like the idea of remixing the FNAF 1 uh, 6 a.m. jingle, but it kind of doesn't really work as a victory theme, so I think such locations uh, 6 a.m. jingle would work better. Anyways, for the victory animations, Golden Freddy's victory animations would be very simple. And not really victory animations, kind of like, they, they're not really victories per se, because the only victory Golden Freddy wants is to be freed from the animatronic, and he's not getting that here. Okay, his first animation would be him sitting and twitching violently, like the final cutscene from UNCN. The second and third animations would have Golden Freddy speak. And no, it would not just be a bunch of gurgles, alright? So what am I gonna do? Golden Freddy speaking, what am I gonna do? Well, instead of just using my cringy voice, because I don't think anyone wants to hear that, I'm just gonna be using J. Jim's Fredbear voice, because I think it sounds perfect for Golden Freddy. Also, link in the description for the original video, because, yeah. Anyways, his second animation would have him standing with his mouth open, and he'll say, which references the bite of 83. Sadly, I can't include blood because Smash Bros. was made for the good boys and girls. And his final animation will be him pulling out a golden cupcake and say, This is going to be your happiest day. Which references the most iconic line from FNAF. Now his taunts. The first he'll laugh, like his laugh from FNAF 1, so he'll have the little girl laugh. 
And then his, um, his second taunt would basically just be the same thing, except it would be Nightmare Fredbear's laugh. And then the final one, he'll put his hands on his head and say, Break your life indeed. for his colors. His first color would be his classic default Golden Freddy colors, yellow and all. Next would be Fredbear from UNCN. Now keep in mind, his top hat and bow tie will glow, and also he would not look like just him smothered in oil. It would look like a shadow's casting over him, okay? Next would be his AR design because that design is a tiny bit different from the original. Next would be a kind of ironic one, which would be Freddy. You know, he's brown. It's just Freddy Fazbear. Next would be Shadow Freddy, because yes. Uh, the... Next would be Fredbear, uh, Nightmare Fredbear, but his design from the teaser image, uh, his Nightmare Fredbear's teaser image, so he's all gray and stuff. Next would be Red Bear, because that's an interesting one to do. Next would be Wither Golden Freddy. This one's an alt, obviously, and yeah, it's just Wither Golden Freddy. And the final one being Phantom Freddy. Um, he would actually have an endo leg for his left foot. Because, it, you know, just for balancing reasons, like animation reasons. Um, but yeah, also keep in mind Nightmare Fredbear would also change in colors for these characters. So, uh, yeah. And that's it for Golden Freddy's fake Smash move set. Golden Freddy would be a pretty unique fighter since, you know, he usually sits down. But to be honest, Freddy or any FNAF rep would be really cool, okay? But I sadly don't think it would happen. But hey, you know, people can dream. But if it did happen, that would seriously be my happiest day.